Dun, 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 dun. Oh, that's that's my clue uh, for uh, 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 where we are at. <laughs> um, there there may be weddings. Mm-hmm. Maybe. There may be. Maybe. More than one. There may be trouble. Uh, I know that's not the one you're going <laughs> There may be singing. There may be singing. There's a lot of singing. Very good. Um, there may be babies. There may be war. I, I, sorry, I started there this may be I, I just, I created a monster here. I'm very <laughs> sorry. This is something we need to have a little conversation about, actually. Can we not uh, just give up the ghost and let the young ones have their moment? I'm quite happy with that. I I feel that something needs to be settled here. This other report, obviously not as good as you, um, came on and said that that you were the the hot couple now. Well, everyone's entitled to their opinion, aren't they? I mean, it's all subjective. It's a lie, but it's subjective. (laughs) So... um, Hi. So Sam's done for the day. So, um, <laughs> I, was, I was upset by that. But um, you know what? It's fine to pass on the mantle. They're dead now, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. Those journalists. They, 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 we killed them. Yeah. They're on still. Uh, how does it feel set. to be the, 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 the passion of the peace now? Is it the passion of the peace? I thought that was... And so. I don't think there's much passion when you've got a screaming baby all the time, actually. Yeah. You know? Jamie's quite a vocal child. Yeah, Jamie's so. pretty vocal. It is tricky. Uh, this season, you know, a lot of Brianna and Claire's frustration sometimes in this time period can be that they're sort of left at home. You know, the women can't go off to fight and things like that in those days. So for a lot of it, Bri, I feel, is a single parent. Roger is well, away come a lot. on, that's not true. Um, it's all for the greater good, right? That's so she's a single parent for the most part. Uh, Jemmy doesn't sleep very well. Um, but, I mean, Bree's still sort of going through all of her PTSD and everything anyway, so sleep for her is quite a scary thing too. So, um, yeah, it's just, it really does show the sort of ugly side of parenting, I suppose. You know, the turmoils of it. And, um, yeah, it's just very, very real this season in that sense. Yeah, I mean, that's been one of the great things about playing Claire this season is that she has established this surgery. I mean, now that they are settled and and this is their home, um, we've seen her expand the surgery. It's been, you know, walking onto that set, John Gary Steele, just incredible. And just seeing all of the different instruments that she's been able to procure. And um, she has a microscope now. Um, So it's that idea of, okay, well, what can she incorporate from her knowledge from the future into this time period. Um, She takes some huge risks. Uh, I think, um, you know, very early in the season, we will see, I think in episode two, we will see one of those big risks that she takes. But it's, it's really, I think her mission and her goal is to try and protect this community. And in order to protect them, well, she needs to find out what's harming them, what's making them ill, what they're taking <laughs> to combat it. And, you know, these kind of traditional cures and, and remedies that are often making people more sick than they are better. So it's a lot of her, you know, I think her frustrations with that is how does she combat the kind of superstition and the misinformation of the time and impart some kind of knowledge to everyone so that, you know, she can keep them safer. Well, yes. That's, no, Roger, uh, Jamie's, um, you know, he's, uh, at this point, he's been commissioned to, to go and hunt down his, his godfather, uh, Martin Fitzgibbons, and um, he's working for the British, um, slightly dup- duplicitously. He, you know, obviously doesn't really believe um, in what they stand for, but he knows that he has to do it for the greater good and to protect everyone at Fraser's Ridge. Um, and he takes Roger along and really wants him to be the 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 son-in-law that he's always wanted and um yeah i think we see that you know their relationship really grow this season and i think they they by the end of the season won't give away too much you know they they have a they have an understanding but yeah roger's not uh not the 1700s man that jamie wants him to be he's not a 1700s man is he that was one of the fun things about playing season five was their relationship it moves along in baby steps 
There's a lot of jabs. There's a lot of little digs, especially coming from Jamie. That was fun. But he's not fun. He's not a man of the 1700s, and I think that that is something... A, an, an able-bodied man of Roger's age in the 1700s, there's a lot of skills and qualities that are taken for granted, I think, especially from someone like Jamie that Roger just doesn't have. So he has to kind of, like... It's to adapt quickly and improvise leads to a lot of fun. We all enjoy Our singing, camera. though, don't we? But he can sing. I, can, I mean, he likes to think he can he's, sing, so he brings He's able that. to tell you the origin of a lot of words, yeah. too. Yeah, he's very yeah. knowledgeable. Very knowledge of the Latin language is He gives is the odd brilliant. history lesson, which, <laughs> which excites and enthralls everyone at the Ridge, right? <laughs> mm. And always yeah. at really appropriate times, uh-huh. you know? Yeah. Time's never of the essence in yeah. Outlander, so Roger's babbling on. Everyone needs a Roger. On, <laughs> <laughs> everyone needs a good Roger.